And today, we want to announce an effort uh, to address all three uh, issues at once, and that is a partnership that we have formed uh, with FEMA. Over the course of the last few weeks, uh, we have been working diligently to uh, create a framework for engagement with our federal partners to help support an effort, first in the nation, uh, to take care of our seniors' most important needs, and that is uh, their nutritional needs, to make sure that they are fed, to address the issue of isolation. We estimate that some 1.2 million of our seniors in the state of California uh, live alone. There's over 5.7 million uh, older Californians, but 1.2 million uh, live alone, socially isolated, uh, unable in many respects to cook their own meals, uh, unable to provide uh, the kind or be provided the kind of nutrition and support that they deserve. Uh, we've been thinking about what we can do, what more we can do with these extended stay-at-home orders and the expectation that even as we begin to toggle back uh, on the stay-at-home orders, that our seniors uh, will continue uh, to be uh, a focus of our energies and our focus uh, of consideration as it relates to making sure that they're truly protected in this crisis. And the expectation uh, that our orders for our seniors may come later. They may lag. And so the need to be more aggressive, to be more focused, more supportive of our seniors uh, has been top of mind. And so working with FEMA uh, on ways to provide nutritious meals to our seniors, to get them delivered, but also to get them prepared, uh, we started thinking about building a partnership uh, with our restaurant industry, with kitchens, with our hospitality industry. It's been ravaged uh, by this pandemic. And this has led us to an announcement today, a partnership, not just with FEMA, but now a partnership uh, with cities and counties for a locally driven strategy uh, to get our restaurant workers, our hospitality workers, to prepare and deliver nutritious meals to our seniors and have the capacity to not only deliver and prepare, but to pay for this endeavor. Uh, this partnership will allow for the ability uh, for restaurants to uh, start rehiring people or keep people currently employed and start preparing uh, meals, three meals a day, seven days a week, uh, and have those meals delivered to our seniors all throughout the state of California. Uh, we will provide an unlimited number of meals, uh, no cap in terms of that support, but there is an eligibility cap. For seniors, uh, they uh, must have eligibility in this frame. They must either have been uh, at high risk of exposure uh, to COVID-19, uh, must be in a position where their uh, economics uh, are below 600% of federal poverty, uh, must have already been uh, impacted or exposed directly to COVID-19, or more broadly, uh, have compromi compromised immune systems. So there's a category uh, in this frame, uh, but beyond that, now we have the ability to uh, have a locally de driven decision making uh, to start employing workers uh, and get these restaurants reopened and provide hundreds of thousands, if not millions, uh, of prepared meals uh, every day delivered uh, to our seniors throughout the state of California. Uh, the reimbursements work along these lines, $16 for breakfast, $17 for lunch, up to $28 reimbursements for dinner. So $66 uh, a day uh, will be reimbursed. There's nutritious guidelines. I keep saying nutrition for a reason. Uh, we want to make sure uh, that we are focused on locally produced produce, we want to connect our farms uh, to this effort. We really want to focus our values throughout the state of California uh, to get a lot of independent restaurants up and running again as well and have a diversity of options uh, and make sure that what we're sending to our seniors is low sodium, uh, not high fructose drinks uh, or sugary drinks and the like. And so there's guidelines that we're putting out uh, and we're just very excited about this partnership. This partnership also can support local government uh, because the generation of local sales taxes uh, associated with these purchases uh, actually could start generating uh, revenue uh, and support for the local economy. So it's one of those rare areas, this first in the nation partnership, uh, where we're really addressing three problems at the same time in a very meaningful day uh, way. This program goes in effect immediately. 
uh, and we're looking forward to local government again making the determination and the decision uh, of which restaurants are eligible for participation. Um, and we will work on reimbursements. Uh, we will work on making sure that we're supporting local government's uh, share. Uh, we're providing 75% of the 25% of local government's uh, requirement in terms of the cost of this program. So a very small percentage is borne by local government. Uh, the state picks up a disproportionate share of that. And again, FEMA uh, in our federal partnership picks up uh, the rest. Uh, the counties will identify uh, those seniors that are eligible, and we continue to encourage people uh, to do two things. The local level, uh, if you're a senior uh, and you believe you're eligible for this program, call your local 211, uh, and that will be, I think, the perfect point of contact to begin uh, the process of eligibility. Uh, if you don't have a local 211 in your jurisdiction, go to our covid19.ca.gov website. COVID 19.ca.gov website. I'm not naive that everybody has access to the internet or even the 211 uh, call centers. So we'll be doing a lot of outreach in partnership with our county uh, directors of our adult and aging services and with our cities uh, to be very proactive in promoting uh, this program and getting it up and running over the next days uh, and weeks and hopefully seeing this scaled uh, throughout this state of California. This, we think, is a real opportunity for rural California uh, as well. Uh, some of our favorite dining spots that may be closed down, large number of uh, seniors socially isolated in our rural communities and begin to connect those dots. And again, it's not just about the meals. It's about a human connection. It's about someone just checking in as they're delivering uh, those meals uh, and making sure people are okay. And so it extends a wellness narrative.